it's a me in a parking lot again. A lot of you may have heard me say that my style is kind of ever-changing and evolving. I feel like I talk about it in every video, so that's my bad. <laughs> I've been trying to go a bit more sustainable with my clothing, um, more thrifting, more vintage, and trying my best not to buy too many new items, especially from fast fashion brands. And something I've always wanted to do but never felt confident enough in my skills was to recycle old materials and make my own clothes. Am I fully confident that I will be able to achieve this? No. As usual, it will be a journey. So my plans are to find a fabric, maybe curtains, sheets, something that I can make a little pinafore, very similar to what I'm wearing right now. And then the second part, I have a pattern for kind of a cute little skirt. Now it says I should only need around four and a half yards of it. Do I know really how to measure that by eye? No, I do have my trusty little tape measure. I don't know. I would assume if they have curtains, they probably don't have like five yards of it, but we're going to try anyways. It's really, am I sweating? <laughs> now, like a true introvert, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film in there. I'll try to film as much as I can. I probably won't talk to the camera because I'm nervous. Speaking of introvert, time to put on my introverted secret weapon. feel better already. It's kind of like in that movie Big Daddy when he gives him the glasses and tells him he's invisible when he's wearing the glasses. Let's get ready to recycle. It's cozy time. If it seems like it's always raining in my videos, that's because this summer is apparently just a perpetual state of wet in New England. I got a few things, I think more than I need, but there was just a lot of cute options, so whatever I don't use this time, I plan to use separate times. I spent $26 in total. If I were to go to the fabric store, that is a laughably small amount. Tablecloths is where it's at when it comes to recycling. First up, I got blue tablecloth, kind of linen feeling. Another tablecloth, brown linen material. I'm not sure if there's enough for a skirt. I think maybe I'll just have to find out when I lay the fabric down and cut out the pattern pieces. This is just a really freaking cute material. And then got this tablecloth, which is a beautiful green. And then last but not least, these big boys. I got these curtains, two of them. Ideally, I'd like to make a pinafore out of this because it is such a nice and thick material. And maybe I can find another use for the lining, but mainly I just wanted to focus on this. Three tablecloths and a curtain. Coming to a theater near you. I think I wanna try this fabric for the skirt. That would be really sweet if this worked out really well, cause this is a very cheap way to get fabric. This was $2. Cut out the pattern pieces from the skirt pattern that I have, and we're gonna see if we have enough. Pray for me. Can I help you? Can you maybe scooch so the audience doesn't have to look at your b-hole? Now, I think for the most part, I'm probably gonna use the same patterns for the pinafore. And then the top of the pinafore is literally, this one's a little different, but it'll literally just be a rectangle with some straps. We'll make it work. Hopefully. Ugh.
it all fits. All of these are cut too, so what I did was folded the fabric over so that when I cut it out, you know, there's two of them. Now the only thing, yes it does fit, but don't have enough fabric really to follow these grain lines. Is that what they're called? But honestly, I don't think it matters too much just because this is relatively a uniform fabric and you can't really tell one direction from the other. When I was unfolding this, I definitely was not sure that everything was gonna fit. So I'm very, very happy and I'm so glad that I'm gonna have the volume that I want, the length that I want, all with a tablecloth. So that's pretty dang sweet. I'm gonna pin these to the fabric and then start cutting. I'm sweating every inch of my body and my legs hurt. It's a very core workout. <sighs> It is very close. Excuse me, burbs. You're lovely, but I'm trying to talk. So this is the first panel of the curtains, and again, I have it folded over, and the two giant sections of the skirt, they fit. I did not know if this was gonna work, but I'm very happy that it did. Can I get a hell yeah for not actually measuring anything and still having it work out? <laughs> Actually, quick change of plans. So if you can see, this fabric actually does have some vertical lines here. Cut out this piece and maybe put my other pattern pieces over here. And then on the second piece of curtain, I'm gonna put the second skirt piece so I can line up that line with the vertical lines because as it is now, I don't have enough room to do that. And I don't think it would matter too much if I just went willy-nilly with it, but for the sake of posterity. Day two. I am now more appropriately dressed for the amount of humidity in this room. Bring on the sweats. Yesterday I finished up cutting out most of the pattern pieces. The only thing that I didn't cut out so far is the other half of the skirt for the pinafore. I think right now my next move is to pattern out the top and the straps of the pinafore just so that I have everything all cut out. And then we can start to put these pieces together and sew them. Not to brag, but I do have a tendency to make things about 25 times more complicated than they need to be, so. Break! Now that I have the measurements for the front and the straps of the pinafore, I am going to reuse some of the lining that came with the curtains. So it'll kind of act as my own little pattern piece. connected the two back panels of the dress and then made these darts. But now it's time to insert a pocket, which I have never done before. Quite honestly, I think this process would be a lot easier if I didn't do pockets, but your girl needs a place to store treats. Here is a pocket. Go on right side. Okay, and then same with the other side. Stitch from upper edge to lower dot. Oh, Stitch and attach all of these. And then once that's done, we're going to bring these two together and then leave a hole. Let's give it a try. Look at this. Hey. 
So now I just have to do that to the other side and attach the other skirt panel and then I have to figure out the waistband and then the buttons and then hem it and that's it. I've done some pleats. I have no idea if I did that right or not, but I guess we'll find out. I have sewn the interfacing and basically that's where the buttonholes are going to go. Ow! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, and then I'm supposed to sew along here. After that, button time. Nope, just kidding. Waistband time. <laughs> gotcha. Next up is the waistband. And I have already gone and pressed the interfacing to it. Attached like that so that when it's done, I should be able to flip it over. So she is almost done. Basically all I have to do left on the skirt, buttons and buttonholes. I know that it's probably gonna take me forever, maybe possibly the rest of my life. I probably should have gotten a buttonhole foot for my machine prior to doing this project, but alas, I didn't. So, by hand it is. Wish me luck. And if you want to start writing your eulogies now, it's probably a good idea. Um, I'll see you in 67 years. Surprise, it's raining. Did I think it was gonna take this long? Absolutely not, but ain't that just the way. So yesterday I finished up the brown skirt. Last night, because the skirt of the pinafore is literally pretty much exactly the same thing as the brown skirt, I went ahead and I just put all the pieces together for that. And it was a lot simpler because I didn't have to do the buttons or the blasted buttonholes. Instead of all that, I just connected the two front pieces. My plan is that once I get the waistband and everything on here, then I'm going to put a zipper in the back seam. So let's get started. I put the waistband on a zipper so I could actually get it on the mannequin. Got the front of the dress more prepared so I hemmed the edges and then I also added darts in there because I knew this was going over the chest area and I wanted it to lay a little bit more flattering. I just had it! Where'd it go? Son of a bitch. So I think what I'll do for the straps is similar to the method on my Dorothy dress where I'm going to take this and then fold it over and then fold it over so that it's inside out, sew along the edge and then turn it right side out. Can you stop shouting? What's happening? There's a full on turf war going on. This is Sparta! Sew these, turn it inside out press them so that they're nice and flat. I think I want them to go around back crisscross. This is kind of looking like a vintage cafeteria uniform. I think it would really be complete with a name tag that said Ethel. So I'm gonna try this on with all the pins in it and just make sure that this is what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna sew it. And then she should be complete. Up. Up with you, theory of way, up to the sky. Sail around the moon for a quiet moon, just to pass a new and I Let us float, float, float through the clouds, just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, 
up, up, and two, and then up, down, and as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. So as kind of a wrap up, I thought I'd talk about what I'm happy with and what I can improve on for next time because I think that's always important. But overall, I'm so happy with how these came out. I definitely think I like the skirt better than the pinafore. And I think the pinafore has a little bit more flaws than the skirt. Understandable because I used a pattern for the whole of the skirt where I kind of went willy nilly with some of the pinafore and I think that shows. Oops. <laughs> so things I would improve on with the pinafore. Really like the material. It is a bit pink for me. So next time I think I'll go for more of my comfort zone, which is brown. <laughs> the material itself is really cool. I think doing kind of fancy curtains was a good idea. Um, it's nice and thick, but because of this, it is a little sweaty. Maybe, I don't know. It's hard to tell if I'm just sweaty in general or if the fabric itself lends itself to being hot. They are curtains, so it would make sense if there's some heat retention in there. The front of the dress is definitely... The front of the dress is definitely a little wonky. Turns out you can't really do just a straight square or rectangle for the front of a pinafore if you have any sort of chest. So I thought adding these darts would be good enough, but it turns out I also needed to add one here. I don't know if that's uh, proper or not but otherwise it was kind of just sticking out like it's definitely a little wonky I don't know I might add some like embroidery here just to add a little bit of interest because I think as it is now it's a little boring I feel like a Disney princess in it so that's good and I think the curtain material makes it feel really 50s it's like kind of like a 50s prom dress material uh, and then as far as the skirt there is not too too much that I would fix on the skirt just because I did follow directions. <laughs> I mean there are some loose threads here and there. Uh, also the buttonholes are a little funky. They have some loose strings here and there because I kept getting caught and tangled. And the... I don't, you can't see that here. Hold on. Hiya! Hello! Distance between these two buttonholes and buttons are a little weird so there is this little funky thing going on. But overall, I'm so happy with it. Who knew that tablecloths could make such good skirt material and is very on par with my What Would Evie Wear. I'm so happy. I don't think I've ever made myself wearable clothing, just cosplay or something along those lines. So it's definitely cool to put this on and think that I made it. I also think it's just added fun to know that these were once a tablecloth or someone's curtains. Just call me Maria. The amount of effort is definitely more, but I think in that way, the payoff is a lot better and it's a conversation piece and you can be proud that you made your own thing. Anyways, I hope that you guys liked watching this um, or found it interesting. I don't know. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every week. And um, we have fun here. That's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, the camera's so far away. Okay, let's try this again. Bye. Huh. Air. A lot of you may have heard. No. <laughs> Don't look at me. So once I have, no, <laughs> I can't talk. So let's get started. Was that cool? I don't know. Transition queen. I hope that you guys. Bleh. Up into the sweetest sky of blue and on ascending we will figure out the soup and on returning to old terra firma we will be as fun.